वेलकम अगेन डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द पोयम वंस अपॉन ए टाइम स्टेंजा बाय स्टेंजा दिस पोयम इज प्रेस्क्राइब्ड फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी ए पार्ट थर्ड पेपर फर्स्ट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो we will also discuss the poem stanza by stanza so in today's video we will discuss the four stanzas of the poem so let's start the video once upon a time is a free verse poem of 43 lines broken up into seven stanzas the poem is a this poem is written by nigerian poet gabriel okara this poem is a comment on society through a monologue from a father to a son which bemoans the loss of innocence in the transition from child to adult and a desire to revert back to that blissful childhood in the opening stanza the poet addresses his son when he writes son it shows that he is talking to his son or someone who is younger than him likely to be in his childhood days the first line suggest that the poem is going to be based on a story is a kind of story or a fair tale the phrase once upon a time also makes the beginning of the poem sound like the poet is telling his son a story he then writes they used to laugh with their heart and laugh with their eyes it shows that it happened in the past and does not happen now and he says that in previous times people would laugh with their hearts and would really laugh out of happiness and their happiness reflected in their eyes but now they on they only laugh with their teeth when the poet says now they only laugh with their teeth he means that people now when they do laugh they only laugh for the sake of laughing and not out of real happiness and then he goes on to say while their eyes block shadow by using a metaphor the writer says that the person who is no happiness whatever inside the person eyes while they search behind his shadow as in they look right past him without paying any attention to to him whatsoever this stanza sums up by talking about when he was young when people would laugh with their hearts and how people have changed to laugh without happiness and to fake laugh while their cold eyes would be dead with grief the speaker is addressing this poem to his son in the second stanza the art of shaking hands has also changed in the past a greeting was genuine a person welcomed for who they were 
but nowadays people shake hands with one eye on your status your financial status in this stanza gabriel says that in the past there was really a time when people would shake hands with their hearts and be happy they would actually shake hands with pleasure but now that's gone means this is no more the time has gone when people really were full of warmth and excitement and they welcomed others with pleasure and happiness there was no affection in their behavior as can be seen in present in the next line the poet is indicating the person whom he is meeting is searching his pockets while they are empty which give you an idea that poet would not have any valuables in his pocket to summarize this stanza it would be enough to say that people in the early 19th century they would meet and greet each other with their full hearts out of utter happiness and with a good intention whereas nowadays it was turned completely opposite and people don't just shake hands without heart they searched in their pockets to know whether you are a rich or poor they will show false warmth and smiling to you when you are rich it indicates that people have become money minded and no one get no one get other smiling and welcome only if he is rich a poor is not welcomed so in this stanza the writer the poet says that in nowadays people only meet with their status in the next stanza in the third stanza people invites you round to their homes making out as if you are important to them but if you don't pleasure up socially on your status isn't quite right you are not invited again so in this stanza it starts with feel at home come again they say by this we can understand the poet is reminding us of how we invite people to our homes and for tea and then he later says and when i come again and feel at home once twice there will be no price by saying this the poet means when he does this a second time then it is also accepted but when he tries the third time there will be no th- third time as in the person inviting will not allow you to come as he goes on to say for then i find the door just shut on me in this stanza the poet is saying that when people invite each other for tea for dinner or just to his or her house they will allow them to come a couple of times with pleasure but after while they will get fed up and slam the door shut on you 
in other words not allowing you to come into their house feel at home i come again they say when i come again and feel at home once twice there will be no thrice for then i find door shut doors shut on me in this stanza the alienation continues people nowadays are official and fickle because of the change in culture now the fourth stanza so i have learnt many things son i have learnt to wear many faces like dresses home face office face street face host face cocktail face and with all their confirming smiles like a fixed portrait smile so in this st- stanza gabriel okara addresses his son and says that he has learned many things from this world in the second line of the stanza he says i have learned to wear many faces which shows that he has adapted to using different faces for different occasions when he goes on to saying some of the occasions and their faces office face street face then he finally goes on to say like a fixed portrait smile which indicates that all these faces never change and it is like a smile fixed for its own occasion summing up this stanza has been focused on how people tend to change their facial expressions for different occasions and how for each occasion people tend to have a different smile like a fixed picture that never changes so the fourth stanza describes how the speaker himself had to change and learn in order to comply he uses a comparison faces to dresses to highlight the various persons he took out all the while smiling so this is the summary or stanza wise explanation of the poem once upon a time the explanation of four stanza in the next video we will discuss the remaining stanzas of this poem